Welcome back, this is Dog, And we're finally at the DLC map. I actually got a pretty big fish on. I don't have any idea what this is gonna be. Mostly what we're trying to catch in this spot is Breen. I'll show you where we are and kind of how we're approaching it. But we do have this one this one rod set up to sort of see what else we might catch in these waters out here. What is that? A large lake whitefish. Five kilos. That's on the mayfly larva. This is on peas. So this will hopefully be bream, especially here overnight. I think we'll probably catch, I mean, we'll see, but I think we'll catch pretty much 100% bream on these in this spot. Looks like a pretty decent one. These Siberian bream, yeah, that's considered a large, over 1,000 XP. Very nice. Okay, here we are on the map. So you spawn in over here, right? And you just take the boat down to this island here, this this little piece of land that's got water all around it. I don't know if it's fair to call it an island. Technically, it is surrounded by water. You can't get here unless you take the boat, is what I'm trying to say, though. And then you just walk down the shore. I guess technically we are where? 187, 138 right now. I'm using picker rods for the second two, and we are just casting them maximum distance, and both of them have anise peas, ground peas, uh, bream ground bait. I think you could probably do this with no ground bait at all. The other thing I'm learning is that size zero hooks, especially when the largest bream here for the Siberian bream is 3.898. That's the largest one ever caught. So these are not big fish. And so I think the size zero hook is actually appropriate for these. Uh, so far it seems to be working. And then we'll probably just be trying some other um, some other baits and stuff on this third line, just so that we can see what else is uh, is catchable in this spot. But like I said, primarily we're focused on bream. The reason why I chose this bait is because it's the the largest linnet here was caught on this bait. There's a like lake whitefish. We can turn that into some fish pieces. Um, but that doesn't mean we're going to catch Linux in this spot. So the daily quest, we may just be ignoring that. Siberian days, we're not going to be doing that. There's another Linux quest, but so if we get this lake, if we get an experience quest that we can do before this disappears within 11 minutes, we have seen Lake Whitefish. So that might be a possibility. We could kind of target, lean into those a little bit. But I think this is going to be another solid bream here. So I guess what my thinking is here, if you're a new player to Fisher Online and you really like decide you like the game and you're, you decide you're going to get the DLC maps, which as of this recording, there's only one, over 1,000 XP for each of these large Siberian bream. I don't know. It's really surprising me how much, how much XP we're getting for those. And I guess we'll see uh, at the end of this kind of how much silver we're actually getting for them. But yeah, I'm just kind of thinking that if, and what's the DLC cost? Like five bucks or something? I mean, it's not expensive, it's cheap. Um, if you're a low level player and you've got some, just the most basic feeder rods, either picker or like the deep stream eights, um, if you end up getting this DLC, according to how much XP we're getting, this might not be a bad little spot to grind at a low level. That's what I'm thinking at least, but even at a high level, I feel like this is a reasonable place to fish. When I first got here, we had like two bream quests as well, and those went by really quick. Uh, okay, so we can target this lake whitefish if we want to. Uh, humpback whitefish. I mean, just in case we end up seeing that, if something better pops up, we can cancel that one. 
Let's look at the lake whitefish and the humpback whitefish. So we've got mayfly larva. I think that's what we're using now, right? And mollusk pieces. And it's also very small fish. So do we really want to burn through our mollusk pieces? I might not mind. How many do we have right now? 16. I think those are also pretty expensive on the auction house. I mean, not expensive, but those are some of, some of the things that sell pretty well. So, But we could get more uh, from the auction house, perhaps. I guess let's look and see how much they cost. But, um, yeah, let's keep using mayfly larva, and then maybe we'll try the mollusk pieces in a little bit. I also want to see just how regular mayfly does. Um, but we might go back to a zero hook for that. I don't know if I mentioned that, but I am using a large, a, a size one, a one knot or a one on this rod. We've got the size one with the, with the mayfly larva because these lake whitefish are a little bit bigger. And if I can, uh, if I last long enough, I'll be curious to see how this changes during daytime versus night. So there's a lake whitefish, 820 XP. And, oh yeah, that's, we actually might finish that experience quest. We just need a f like three or four more of those before we run out of those baits. I think those baits might be purchasable on this map, but I'm not 100% sure. All right, this should be another bream. As long as we're getting a steady flow of bream, that's going to be some really nice XP and silver over time. Yeah, that's another one. And the thing is, even with these zero hooks, we're not catching too many, you know, tiny bream. They're all pretty good. Although I have noticed we haven't caught a bream on the middle line in a while. We're just catching it on this third line for some reason. If that middle line will get going again, that'll help. Yeah, but what happens during for the bream once the day is over, once the night is over and it's daytime? Do we still catch them at all? Do they get smaller during the day? Large humpback whitefish. We just need two of those for the for the income quest. So yeah, I guess we'll take that towards the quest. Wow. Okay. So all kinds of fish are coming in on this bait, but we only have seven left, I think. All right, give me one second here. So once again, Okay, 
Just swam right for the shore, didn't he? Lake Whitefish. Yeah, we, I mean, one more decent sized Lake Whitefish and we are done with that experience mission uh, quest. And of course it's the third line. I guess we should just recast the second one at this point. Something weird's going on with it. Yeah, I think the nice thing about this, you're going to make a lot of silver, a lot of currency doing this. And especially with the peas, the bait is just really inexpensive. And um, it's good fun. It's good. It's going to be good currency. It's going to be good XP overall. I think we're averaging about a thousand XP per fish. The other thing I'd like to know is if the Linux ever go for lures. Man, those Lake Whitefish can get pretty big. These bream are so consistent. <laughs> it just, it's great. We have 4.5 liter, we're using the same ground bait. Oh, finally we're getting one. I was just about to say like, yeah, it's the same setup. I was really starting to wonder though. Now, if we could just find a trophy bream, that would be amazing. All right, it's a little smaller or something. Maybe this will be our second humpback. Then we won't have to do the mollusk trick. Can't tell. Nope, another lake whitefish, but a small one. So we still need one more, and we have five baits left. Need need to hit that in the next five fish. I'm gonna kind of look around so you can see what this map looks like a little bit. It's really just a frozen tundra. Um, and then I guess when we go sell the fish, you can see what the starting area looks like. But it it seems like a cool map. I like this map. Ooh. Okay, two fish on. I like this map better than um, the level 28 map, which I can't remember the name of. We'll pull up the map and the maps in a second, but I just couldn't get anything going on that map. I ended up just sort of skipping over it. I was gonna, whoa, that is a big old perch. Okay. Oh, they're really coming in now. Incredible. Let's see if we can see that shadow. If we turn our light on, we can probably see it better. Yep, there it is. Another nice one. Not quite as thick as the last one. Whoa. Okay. The 
Let's hope that's not another perch on line one. Man, oh man. This is a nice little spot. Look at this. This is smaller again. Just don't be a perch. Be some kind of white fish for us, please. It's not a perch. I think it's a lake white fish. No, humpback white fish. Okay, that cleared the income quest. By the way, we do not have any kind of ground bait on line one. We just are using ground bait for the bream. And I suspect they would be just fine without the ground bait. I just kind of like making up ground bait at this point. All right, that's a smaller one. It is getting a little bit towards morning. Is this a sign of things to come? Ooh. This is a little heavier. Hmm. Well, this is a very small lake whitefish, if that's what it is. Doesn't look like it. Nah, it's another perch. Is that a daytime? Is that a sign of what we're going to catch during the daytime now? We've only got two baits left. Need to get lucky one more time on lake whitefish to get that experience quest knocked out. Still doing okay on Bream. Oh, here we go. This is no perch, I'll tell you that. Oh, we've only got a 6.4 leash on this. We probably could do a little bit stronger. And not impact bite rate. Because I guess if we hit one of those Linux or something a little bigger at this leash size, we might not get it in. This is already Pretty nice. got one more bait left I hate to have to turn this fish in towards experience but if it's a lake whitefish we will because there's no guarantee we'll get another one Whew. 1198 experience and we finished the experience quest that's awesome oh yeah we're gonna be level 30 in no time spots like this Oh, I meant to look at that. I meant to change that leash potentially. Let's see if we just got two smaller bream in a row. We might have. Hmm. 
We just might have. Bite rate's still strong, but the size might be a little, a little worse. Oh, okay, never mind. I think this is a bigger win again. Hmm. Did we get a perch on the last one? Arctic O'Moole. So we are out of bait. So let's try this. Go to zero hook and let's go to Mayfly and just see what that does. And if we get a break here where nothing's biting for a second, we may go back to town, see if those baits are sold. There's very limited um, stock. at this uh, at this location so you're going to want to buy your peas and anything you're wanting to fish with you're going to want to buy it elsewhere before coming here oh I, I thought the fish had dropped off that's so small wow okay that's a small fish we just caught all right let's see if this is small again now is it bad so we're still catching nice size siberian bream let's just hope this keeps it up during the day Surely it won't, but maybe it will. I'm so programmed from RF4 to not think that Breen can be caught past a certain time during the day. Like, you know, 7 or 8 in the morning. Alright, let's see if this is another one of those tiny guys. Yeah, huh. I guess we'll give it one more try. But we're off to a rough start on the uh, Mayfly. Maybe we go back to a one hook and see if that improves it. got a second here I think that keeps the rod set up I don't, I don't think they go down all right let's see if that one bait is sold here. oh they are they are sold here um, okay and what about leashes oh the mouse lure is sold here 30 tournament tokens. I've seen this on so many records. So it's a wobbler spoon. 30 tokens though. And I only have 51 of these and it takes three. So I need a lot more to afford one of those. Whoa. I didn't know we had thirst. I didn't know there was thirst in this game. All right, so do we have All right, give us some some options there. Okay, did our boat respawn? No, it didn't. I think it stayed down there. So we'll take the other boat.
That's interesting. So we would not be able to get back if we... Wait. Oh, maybe this is the boat we took. I thought there was a second boat somewhere. Okay, I might be, I might be um, misremembering a little bit here. I'm gonna bring the boat down on this side just in the small chance we needed it for some reason. I wonder if that's the only place that mouse lure is sold. I bet it's not. By the way, where are our rods? Did they get taken down? Oh, nope, they're hidden behind the... I gotcha. Oof. Everything's going off. Silently, which I appreciate. Okay, so we definitely need to reassess what we're doing on this. We might put that other bait back on. But first, we might try it with the um, a little bit larger hook. This is definitely a smaller bream. Although still like reasonable amount of XP, even on the, uh, I guess, non-marker bream, if you could call it that. We should check our quest. It may have been long enough for us to have access to them again. I don't know. All right, a couple really small ones in a row here. Which overnight and, and early, I don't think we saw small ones very much. So starting to see a trend here. Okay, so we want to go a little bit larger leash. Let's go, let's try 9.7. But let's also put, before we go back to that other bait, let's just put um, Mayfly back on there, but with a little bit larger hook. See if it catches something besides the two guns. So this is starting to look like we might do a little bit longer video this time. Um, if something comes up for work, I may suddenly have to leave, but um, if it doesn't, we'll keep plugging away, see what else we can figure out out here. Oh, finally. As long as there's big ones mixed in every once in a while, it still might be worth going through the small ones because like I said, they're not that bad XP. Yeah, it's another large one, 1200 XP. I don't know, have we completely killed the bite rate on the Mayfly by putting the bigger leash and hook on. That was almost two kilos. That one was almost two kilos. Right, another big one. That 
That's our goal. We want to get one that's two kilos. I don't think we have yet. 1.989. Alright, it's been a long time without a bite on that mayfly, so let's... Let's not do that. Of course, we can go back to that other bait any time. It seemed to be working so well. Let's try, though. Let's try a mollusk piece just for fun. See what happens. Oh, what size? Okay, hold on. It may be that we have to have at least a one on there to get mollusk on there. Where are they? Yep, there they are. Yep, you have to have at least a one. Okay. So let's try Mollusk out. I think it's kind of fun to have a sort of a, <laughs> a miscellaneous third rod. Yes, you could sit here and catch even more bream and probably make even more XP and money, but it kind of keeps it varied and a little more entertaining for me. Yeah, see, there's that lure mouse, Timon. Ooh, mollusk pieces. That'd be a a bear if we start hitting sturgeon and sterlet on those. Maybe we want to get our carp set out if we're going to throw out mollusk pieces. I wonder if there are sturgeon or sterlet in this spot. Hmm. I don't know. We have a lot of fish though. Whoa. Did we finally hit two kilo? Oh, we did. Oh, it's a trophy. Fifty six hundred experience. Okay. Okay then. About 8 a.m. Trophy Siberian Bream. Yeah, we're over halfway to 30 now. How much longer do we wait on the uh, on the mollusk pieces? So remember, the trophy came in on size zero hook with peas. At least for these bream, it's just the right size, I think. All right, finally, mollusk pieces caught something. Now remember, bream will sometimes go for mollusk pieces. We know that there's bream in this spot. Yep, 
Yep. That's what I was afraid of. That's not even a good one. Okay, so let's go back to what were we using before? Mayfly larva. Let's see if we seem like we're getting the same results. Now it is later in the day, so that could change things, but we also have a larger leash on there. Another one very close to two kilo. I think this one's going to be pretty close to two kilo as well. I guess it feels a little lighter now though, doesn't it? Here we go. Fish number one on the mayfly larva again. We've got a little bigger leash, so some of the fish that we were struggling getting in will come in a little easier now. And hopefully it doesn't affect the bite rate. Well, that looked a little strange. What is this? Is that one of those Amul things? Oh, that is a lake whitefish. Okay. Uh, we haven't checked quest yet. Lenick, if, if only. Oh, lake whitefish again for income. one silver for two lake whitefish I think what we'll do it's not that much silver so if we catch a large one I don't think we'll put it towards quest but the regular ones we will put it towards that quest when the bite rate is like firing off in this spot it's actually pretty amazing I think this is going to be decent, especially if it's a lake whitefish. Hopefully this will be in the large category. Nope, it's regular, so we'll put it towards quest. Man, that felt solid. Oh good, we do have a large late whitefish. I just want to see how much those give us silver-wise. I don't know, we might make a thousand silver out here. Just depends on how long we sit here, I guess, but I think we've gotten several hundred at, le at least at this point.
can't believe we hit that trophy. That is awesome. I also can't believe we haven't had a third hero star yet. Whoa. All the fishing we've done for these videos, and we've had two hero stars. Just kind of things like, seems like those might need to be buffed a little bit, the percentage of drop, the drop rate. Because with that low of a drop rate, you could have someone excited about the May event, and they come play for a couple hours, and nothing happens. And... It, you know, you'd feel like, well, is it bugged? Is it not working? I, I don't know. It seems like it's a little bit of a low drop rate. And I don't even know, like, if the rewards are that spicy necessarily. But since it's an event, it feels like it should be a little more eventful. You know what? be wrong but that looks like um that is a large a, a lake white a white fish huh well we can finish that income quest let's do it without quest i i think we'll be better off we'll catch another one i bet i'm starting to think you can do these 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 uh siberian bream 24 7 Maybe your chance of catching a non-marker one increases a little bit during the day, but I mean, we are still just killing it on these bream. Muxin. What are Muxin called on? Twisters, Twister Whitefish 1. That's what we want. All right. Beautiful. Uh, just for fun. Let's do this. So, is the Muxin still there or is it gone? My goodness, it's gone. Lake Whitefish again? Linux. Thought I had that. I guess I don't have it though. Well, let's just try casting some stuff out there. Actually, let's look at the records and see what's catching what, and then we'll see if this spot, if you can catch anything spin fishing from here. Okay, so records, what do we have? Arctic char on the VIB Salmon GT, GT2. GT2. that is 
is. We don't have it. Shad M1. <laughs> let's just try it. Just let's just start trying things. I'll try it, one of these first. What's our test? 30. Yeah, we should have put... Can we put a bullet weight on this thing? I think so. We would cast it a lot farther if we had a little weight on there. We'll see if anything seems interested in it, though. I actually think we should try that little... Those uh, jigs. I just have a feeling. Let's let's try a jig. All right, so we'll go with the 1.5. We'll start with this one. That might be the one actually. So let's see. How much does this weigh? Four grams. So we'll put a 30 gram bullet on there and let's just cast this sucker. Jig guiding. See if we get anything here. Ooh, yeah. Something. What'd we hit there? Ooh, 1200 experience, large Pelid. Pelid, Linux. Man, I wish we could hit a Linux. What does it say about the Linux? Salmon, it's a trout. It's valuable. I bet it would go for a lure. Just because the largest has been caught on a bait. No, 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 no. Got to keep bringing these bream in. This map is actually a pretty map. I mean, during the daytime, at nighttime, it was just hard to appreciate Wow, even bigger. Oh my goodness. I cannot believe we just had two trophies.
By the way, here's one more look at the ground bait we're using in case that has anything to do with the trophies, which I, I'm not sure that it does, but just in case it does, that's the ground bait we're using. I think this lure is going to be a long shot, but hey, let's just try it. This would be more on the surface, obviously. This is the kind of lure I had that trophy pike on at France. Okay. What about, what's the biggest 10 gram spinner bait? It's not going to go very far. I don't know if this sinks. I guess it does. I think with these, you probably just want to do uniform guiding. And we probably want to slow this retrieval down a little bit, right? But we also need to use it on a setup where we can... Um, have it match our test. So someone in chat just said yesterday people were catching a lot of bream trophies on leech. So I'm not, uh, I mean, the peas are working great, but I'll put leech out on one. If you can use it on zero hook, I don't know if it makes sense to put it on one hook. How long are you waiting for a bite at that point? We'll see. Let's try it. Quick bite on leeches. Ooh. It's a decent size. We'll see if leeches is 100% bream. It probably will be. One thing that's nice about this place is because there aren't that many fish in these waters. Uh, different types of fish like uh, I'm thinking of Netherlands like if you throw in a bream bait at Netherlands there's so many other types of fish that will take that bait it kind of deludes it a little bit but that's not the case here so yeah we're just not getting that cast very far out I feel like um, Which, if we're going to make something work with our big, our big uh, bait casting setup, we probably should stick with jigs. And I and I need to invest in some more jigs. I mean, I just don't have that many lures because I've done so little lure fishing in this game, such little, except for the trolling at uh, Finland. But another nice bream. It's like 1 p.m. and we're still catching these really nice bream. Um, try a little larger. Oh, maybe the, what if we do wacky? Oh, here's the vibro shads. So they weren't showing up because of the size of the, uh, so that's 15. We need 20 is enough. So the size of the, 
jig we were using was keeping us from using some of the lures, I guess. Okay. Wait, did it stay on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so. All right, so we got something on it. An Arctic char. A very small one, but hey, that's promising. See if we can do that again. decent one it looks like on leech Alright, we'll just do a little bit more fishing here and then we will go see how we've done. We're going to go down to 30 speed now. Okay. Do something a little wacky here.
I think for spin fishing, what we would probably want to do is just go straight out here into this deeper water and try stuff from out from the boat. But there's no doubt this has been an amazing bream farm. We also have gotten several quests done uh, with our sort of random third feeder rod that was out. One last look. This is where we are. Coordinates 187, 138. And it's been a great farm. Let's see how lucrative it's been. So that boat didn't... Oh yeah, there's the boat. I see it now. So both boats are stuck over there now. So we'd have to actually like log to the menu and back to get boats back. Nice little fire here. What lures do they sell in this shop? Oh, it says it's for whitefish. I guess I wish I would have tried that that jig a little bit more. Wow! Holy cow! 1145 silver. That was a really nice farm. Holy cow. And we got so much XP. <laughs> That's crazy. Okay. As always, thanks for watching. This has been, um, I don't know if I ever mentioned before, but this has been the Siberia NSA. This is the DLC map. The one I was trying to think of earlier was the Serbia map. But there's somewhere at 30 we can go, right? Isn't there a 30 map? Yes. Iran, the Caspian Sea. I have no idea what's waiting for us there. So we'll hit 30 soon. Um, but if I find any other good farms or if we stumble upon anything, I'll try to keep doing some videos here. I also need to give a little bit more attention to RF4. I feel like I've been letting RF4 down the last couple days. But this has been so fun. I'll try to keep this going. I'm definitely enjoying it. And if nothing else, we could always splurge for some of the travel uh, tickets. Go spend a couple hours on some of these other maps. And um, that, that, I mean, I don't know. How long is it going to be till we hit level 34 and 37? I guess it depends on how fun that USA map is that comes out. The next DLC map. Okay, as always, thanks for watching and I will see you next time.